Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Hey, just when you thought the 2020 Roundup videos were put to bed for the year, I've got one more for you. This one is your top 20 most loved products of 2020. So at the end of the year, I dive into my analytics to see what the trends were for the year, what I should concentrate on next year based on what you guys loved and purchased this year. And I always think it's a really interesting look back at the year. One of the more interesting points of it is that three of the top 10 items are sunscreens. And I just love it that you guys are really committing to your sunscreen, even though we're all staying home and not out and about as much as we used to be. I love it that the message is getting through that you need to wear your sunscreen all day, every day, that the UVA rays, those damaging rays that age your skin, they come right through windows, they come right through glass, they come right through clouds, they're with you 24 seven. So wearing sunscreen every day is so important and I feel like that's a message that you guys really embrace this year and took to heart and I'm so happy to see that. Anyway, let's get into the list. The number one product for the entire year is my favorite sunscreen. It is the Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. This is my holy grail sunscreen, has been for a few years. This is a really great hydrating formula. The tint is just about right for my skin tone. It feels so comfortable, but the best thing about it is that it wears and looks so great under makeup and it's because it's tinted you really don't have to wear makeup when you have this on so this is just a beautiful sunscreen i don't want to talk too much about each item because there's 20 of them of course everything that i'm going to show you will be linked below the video in case you haven't jumped on the elta md bandwagon yet um, you could give this one a try it's a beautiful beautiful sunscreen okay number two seller for the entire year and this was not a shock to me this is one of my favorite products of all time that i talked to you guys about ad nauseum. It is the Timeless Skin Care 20% Vitamin C plus E plus Ferulic Acid Serum. It contains 20% L-ascorbic acid. And you guys have heard me say a million times that L-ascorbic acid is the only vitamin C form that I like that I'll use on my skin because it's the only one that is actual vitamin C. Your skin puts it to work immediately fighting those free radicals that damage our collagen, they damage our DNA, they damage our elastin, and they just contribute to wrinkles. On the outside, what that translates into is brighter, firmer, plumper looking skin with fewer age spots and fewer wrinkles. Now, I have traditionally had a discount code with Timeless. It was HF5 off for $5 off your order. It was good on all their serums. Unfortunately, Timeless discontinued my code, but they did still want you guys to have the $5 off discount. So now instead of putting in a code, there's a link that you have to use. The link is in the information box below the video. You click that link. The $5 off will be applied automatically at checkout. It will let you have the discount one time on one purchase. It won't be every single time you purchase it. Of course, I'm disappointed that I can't offer you the $5 off code every single time you buy it, but I gotta say, there is no other company that gave me a discount code that has lasted for eight years. Timeless kept my $5 off discount code active for every single purchase that you guys made, and you made a lot, for eight solid years. So thank you so much, Timeless, for honoring my discount code for that amount of time. I've really loved working with Timeless. I think it's a great, great company. And so while I appreciate them doing what they've done in the past, I understand that as a business, it's not sustainable to give everybody $5 off every single time they order. So like, I get it. Um, but I do appreciate that they did do it for so, so long. The other good news about Timeless though, is that you can now purchase them at Target. I believe it is an online only purchase. And I did just purchase my three current products, you know, my three faves, this one and the CoQ10 serum and the Matrixyl Synth 6 serum. I just bought them all on Target. So check them out on Target. I'll put the links to Timeless uh, with the $5 off in the info box, as well as the Target links if you want to try to pick it up there. So the number three seller for the year was this little eight inch ring light. I showed you guys this in my how to look good on Zoom calls video. And this is really a lifesaver. I'm so glad that so many of you bought it. If you haven't gotten it yet, it's really great for any time that you're on FaceTime with your family or Zoom with work. If the lighting isn't optimal where you are or you can't sit in front of a nice window, 
lighting will always help you to look better and this is just an inexpensive little ring light unfortunately this exact model is no longer available so i am linking another one but i think i actually like the other one better because it does have the same kind of little tri tripod stand but it has a bracket for your phone on the front so if you are doing a zoom call you just snap your phone into the little bracket you turn on the light the light is adjustable so you can do you know just a little bit of filler light if you want or you can blast it up really high if you have no light in your area and so your arm won't get tired holding your phone out like this for the entire call. If you are doing a zoom call on a laptop, you just set this up on the other side of your laptop aiming towards you and you have nice lighting and that is a really great product. So number four is more skincare. They are the products from Maylove. Unfortunately with Maylove, I can't really see which product it was that sold so many, but I'm going to guess it was either the hydrator or the glow maker, or it could be a combination of the two. So Maylove is another one of my favorite Favorite brands of skincare. I just like how these brands formulate their skincare. Timeless, the formulations are so good. May Love, the formulations are so good because they do it right. The vitamin C serum has 15% L ascorbic acid. It also has that ferulic acid and vitamin E that you need in there. It's formulated at the correct pH. And the hydrator is a product that I really started to love over the last couple of years. I love to have resveratrol in my skincare routine. That's another antioxidant. So so it fights those same free radicals that vitamin C does, and it also is not irritating. So if the acidness of the vitamin C, like you can't use it, this is another really great antioxidant to use. It's in a hydrating formula. So if you could never use vitamin C, this is a good one. I mean, I use them both. I use this in my nighttime skincare routine, and I love it. More skincare. This is body skincare number five in the top 20 is the alpha skincare renewal body lotion this is a 12 percent glycolic acid body lotion you guys this is the best body lotion because it exfoliates your skin and you know exfoliation is the name of the game as far as your skin not looking crepey or dry this is like a 15 dollars bottle of body lotion it's lasts me for months and months and months glycolic acid dissolves the glue that holds the dead skin cells onto the surface of your skin and so it's that thicker layer of dead skin cells that makes you feel itchy that makes your skin look dry makes it almost have that white chalky kind of coating to it and so using this will make your skin glow it will have a lip from within glow it'll also help your skin to generate more collagen so an awesome product at a great price point all right number six is one of the other sunscreens that i touched on already it is the CeraVe hydrating sunscreen spf 30 this is another tinted sunscreen and this one is so so hydrating i love this one for when my skin is feeling dry especially this time of year in the winter this is a really really good one and it's at a drugstore price point. I think this is around $15 like most of the CeraVe products are. CeraVe is just one of my favorite brands of skincare in general. So that is number six on our hit parade here. Um, number seven is the BK Beauty 101 brush. This is my favorite makeup brush. This was a real game changer for me. I had never met a foundation brush that I liked until I met this BK Beauty brush. The fibers on here are so soft and I gotta say when I'm using my older brushes now I'm always like oh my gosh they're so itchy they're so prickly I can't, how could I have even stood using these brushes this one it's like velvet against your face and I just love the shape of this I mean the shape of it is so cool it's like no other brush I've seen you can drag your foundation on you can stipple it almost like with a blending sponge it blends everything perfectly perfectly. It never leaves a brush mark or a streak in your foundation. Absolutely love it. I do have a 10% off discount code with BK Beauty. I'll put the link right here and it'll also be in the info box below the video. Number eight is another skincare item. Very affordable. This is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% with 2% HA. You can also use the 5% version of this if you are new starting out with using an alpha hydroxy acid. You can start with the 5% then bump up to the 10%. I bumped up to the 10% about a year and a half ago I think and it's been great I love using it and I guess you guys bumped up along with me this is similar to the alpha skincare in that it contains an alpha hydroxy acid glycolic acid and lactic acid are both AHAs and they're in a family of 
acids that exfoliate the skin. Uh, what I love about lactic acid is that it's also been shown to increase the ceramide content in your skin. Ceramides are fatty lipids that our skin naturally has, but of course they deplete as you get older and so you need to replenish them. And so using lactic acid is a great way to do that. So it does all the great things that glycolic does. It's a little bit gentler than glycolic acid, which is great for using on the face because your face can become a little sensitized from using lots of different acids. But this one I don't find sensitizing. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. It doesn't make it red and itchy. In fact, it makes it like glowy and it reduces my wrinkles and it reduces my age spots and it helps with all those great things, plus helping to build more ceramide. So an awesome product. All right, number nine and the third sunscreen in the top 10 is my longtime favorite, the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face SPF 50 BB Cream. This was kind of relaunched and renamed last year. They released it in three shades instead of just one. I'm now buying it in the tan to medium shade because I like to use this to darken up some of my other sunscreens if they're too light of a tint for me and so that's why I use this one but you can pretty much find a shade that's a pretty good match for you. I like this one because it is an SPF 50. It's the highest SPF of the three sunscreens that I've talked about. Unfortunately this is also the most drying of the three. The other two are not drying at all. They're very hydrating formulas so those are definitely good for people with dry skin. This one is more for people with combo to oily skin. It really keeps your oils under control. It really sets up a beautiful matte finish. Also works great under makeup. So that's been a long time fave. Highly recommend that one. Okay, number 10 in our little hit parade here is my 10 inch sleeping wedge. So this is a big wedge pillow that I sleep on. I talk to you guys a lot about how um, training myself to sleep on my back has been one of the best things that I've done for my wrinkles. I started to do it, well, for two reasons mainly. One was that I was waking up in the morning and I was seeing this big Y-shaped wrinkle from my cleavage all the way up to my collarbones, and I didn't like that. That was from sleeping on my side. And I had gone to see my dermat about the same time, and she told me that one side of my face, the wrinkles were worse than the other side, like deeper and everything. And she could tell that that was the side I slept on because when you're sleeping on your side, you basically are ironing in wrinkles on your face. So I went home that night and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to teach myself to sleep on my back. Well, it wasn't easy. It took a couple months, but I finally did it. And the thing that made the hugest difference for me was this sleeping wedge. So this is actually a cover that I buy for it because then you can just throw this in the wash, but it's basically a foam wedge. This is the 10 inch one that I have. Unfortunately, this brand, it's not there anymore. So I've linked a couple of other things. I've kept them in the same price point family so that they're not expensive. Like some of the wedges out there are really expensive. I don't think they need to be. It's just a piece of foam cut into a triangle shape, right? So definitely 45, 40 bucks, 33, whatever, that kind of price point is good. All right, number 11 was my Etsy face mask. This is my favorite mask for wearing, you know, out and about when I have to have my mask on. I love this guy and it's so comfy, so pretty, goes with all my gray sweaters and gray outfits. And um, this is from an Etsy shop. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I can imagine that you guys broke the Etsy shop, but they seem to have an endless supply of this beautiful gray fabric. I actually bought one to start and then I liked it so much and my daughter liked it so much. She took one of mine. So I went back to that shop and I ended up buying two more. So I have three of these and I love them. I wear it just about every day and every time that I go out of the house. All right, so number 12 is my favorite foundation of the year. It is the Estee Lauder Futurist Foundation. I discovered this in 2020 and boy, did you guys flock to it. You loved it. I have heard back from so many of you, especially people with dry skin. And I'm so happy to be able to recommend a foundation that actually works for both of us. I mean, it's nice that we don't have to have separate products, right? That it can work on my combo skin and it can work on my drier skin areas and your drier skin areas. So people seem to love this product. So anyway, that was a big one for the year. All right, this next one, I was really surprised to see in the top 20 because I don't really talk about it that much, but this is my Isentree Green Tea Fresh Toner. Green tea is another antioxidant. I like to get green tea into my skincare routine and doing it in a toner is just a nice way to do it. This is a 6.67 ounce bottle. 
lasts me forever. Really good price point on this. I was so happy to see this one in the top 20 because I do use this product every single day of my life. It is my Lancome Mackie Complete Concealer. I love this concealer. It's the best. I did a whole new concealer testing video during 2020 and even though I was already using this, I thought, let me put it head to head against all these other concealers that are, you know, being hyped to the moon and back as like the greatest thing. And this one beat them all easily. And it's just such a good concealer, especially for mature skin. I mean, I have my fair share of wrinkles under my eyes and I hate a concealer that crinkles up in there. And so this one doesn't do that. This is Lancome's Hydrating Concealer. So it never feels dry. It never looks cakey under my eyes. I love this guy and I'm glad that you guys purchased it. And I hope if you purchased it that you love it too. So I guess we're in the makeup section because number 15 was this little blush. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint Blush in Beam. This is the most beautiful blush blush I have ever used and it is hands down the best blush ever. It's a cream blush so if you have drier skin this is going to be so fantastic on you. It goes great over foundation. I'm wearing it today. It just gives the sheerest most beautiful wash of color. It gives you that lip from within glow. It gives you a little bit of um, luminosity to your cheeks and it's just a beautiful, beautiful blush. So then number 16 are my favorite eyeliners. These guys are the Marc Jacobs Highliners. It is a gel mechanical eyeliner pencil, and these are just the bomb. They are so good. These are spendy for an individual eyeliner, 26 bucks a piece, but so worth it. They last forever, and they are so waterproof. I wear these every single day. I wear the navy on my upper waterline. I wear the lavender on my lower waterline. They stay in place. They don't get all over each other. They don't smudge. They don't leak. I don't find them halfway down my face halfway through the day. Um, I just love them. They come in so many beautiful colors. I mean, I have blue eyes, and so I love the blue and the purple combo. The blue is called Overnight. The purple is called Lunatic. I also have this in a few other colors. One of my favorites is a really dark grayish brown color. That one's called Irony. It's beautiful on brown eyes, it's beautiful on blue eyes. Then I also have one called In the Buff that is like a very pale goldy color that looks great on the lower waterline for brightening that up or at the inner corner. Really great, hands down, my favorite eyeliners of all time. All right, next up is the only article of clothing that made it into the top 20 for this year. I was so surprised because usually my top five is all clothes, but this year I really didn't do that many lookbooks. I know you guys weren't buying a huge amount of clothes, but the clothes you did buy, very basic. So coming in at number 17 is this Lotus t-shirt. This is a great little t-shirt. I bought it over the summer, I guess in the spring or something. I can't even remember, but I wore this to death this summer. This has been in and out of the washer and the dryer many, many times. And look at it. It still looks like brand new. And I love the little cuff detail on the sleeves, but what I especially love is just this really beautiful, like kind of zen, graphic on the front. This is great. It looks great under a blazer. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Comes in a lot of different colors, so we'll link that below the video. All right, we're coming to the end. Last three items. Number 18 is my Sports Research Phytoceramides. This is a supplement that I take. This is perfect for me to be talking about this time of year because I take this mainly because it hydrates my skin from the inside out. But I happen to start taking them like in September and by December, January, when my skin is usually so dry and so itchy. It was the first year that my skin wasn't dry and itchy, and I kind of attributed it to these. These are great, but they are a wheat-based phytoceramide. So if you have wheat allergies or you know are gluten intolerant, then you shouldn't get these. There are rice-based ones. Number 19 is this little necklace that I'm wearing right here. This is a Kendra Scott necklace, and it's one of my favorite things. I've worn it in almost every video all year long. It's a two-strand necklace, so ignore this little star necklace. <laughs> It's a two-strand necklace, so it's this and this connected together, and it's just such a beautiful little necklace, and the price point on this guy is really great. It comes in silver and gold, and I think rose gold as well, but what I like about the gold of this is it's not a super yellowy gold, so if you like to mix your metals, it goes with all the other metals as well. I often mix other gold pieces with it, like the little star necklace, and it looks good, or I'll mix silver with it, and it looks good, and I just love it as a layering piece. So that is number 19. Number 20 on your little hit parade 
trade here of your most loved products are my eye drops. This is an eye drop called Retain, and this is a mineral oil based eye drop. My eye doctor recommended these to me a couple years ago because, you know, I overwear my contacts. My eyes are a little bit on the dry side, plus, you know, my age and estrogen and whatnot. And she recommended these and they made such a huge difference in my eyes. I could not believe it. I put these in at night before I go to bed and I put them in first thing in the morning when I wake up and eyes are no longer burning. Like back before I started using these, my eyes would literally be burning by the end of the day and now my eyes are just so much more hydrated and more comfortable because of this so I love this one. So that is the top 20 of your most loved products for the year. This was such a fun video to make. If you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye!